Now, Norm, no, Norm, Norm is shrewd. I think he does the Gilbert thing where he plays up yeah. the unaccountability thing and mm -hmm. gets away with murder. Smart Literally, play. sorry. Smart play. That. Yes. Be really irresponsible on purpose. Yes, and you're not accountable. Set the bar low. And he's, he's the smartest fucking guy. He is the smartest guy and, in the and world. shrewdest and does it. What are you talking about? Yeah. yeah. Like, he'll do this thing where, you know, when I used to... Uh, I'm off the list for whatever reason, but call you up. Doesn't call you back. He used back. to be one of his best friends in the world. I don't know best friend, but I was in the rotation sure. where calling me up and going to things and doing things. Then you're off the list, and then, then you're back on it. I think I'm not going to ever be back on the list I want to get on his list for a little while. He's he, done the he show a couple by. times. He dropped he, by. He sure. Well, I think because you have a family. Like, they would just sort of like, there was one time with, you know, Lojo, the one who drives him around and Lori, everything. Lori. Lori Joe. Yeah. yeah. And they kind of got mad at me because it's like, you got to do it. We used to play tennis and you had to play for three hours minimum because he ha he can't stop anything. Had to beat everyone by a certain amount. And you just say, come on, you know. And one time they're driving around looking for houses. And I, I sort of have a life and, you know, even though it seems not. And, and I, and I, and I kind of tricked them. I said, there's one by Crescent Heights. There's a thing I saw. And then at the light, I ran out. Because <laughs> it's like they kidnap you. you but know? that's the thing. Spade told me about this a long time right. ago. He goes, when you get to a certain level, like my level, right. uh, Spade says, you need a guy. You know, everyone's got to have a guy like your Cato. He like sometimes he even lives in your guest house and he's oh, your guy. Like Kato's if you want to go to the gym, shit. you want to go to the gym, you bring your guy. You're going to a movie premiere. Cato was and you Norm's have a guy date. for a while. No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. Well, that's a perfect example He's of a, a guy. Piece of shit, you got to be able to be available all the time for any amount of time, and yet you can be dropped off at any second when no longer usable. Well, and you're, but but it's a real friendship. It didn't but feel, it's but it's a very loaded thing well, because he's getting. What what the guy gets, and I'm not talking about Norm because I don't I don't think of Norm as having a guy. You know, Laurie Joe's like his assistant you know, you know, and producer, but but what I'm talking about is the guy who gets tons of free shit because you that your guy I, gets the no, gift I was bag abused. when you go to the premiere. I was abused one time. You were, oh, you were an abused uh, guy. Oh, Norm abused me, bullied me. Uh, like would make you know. One time I thought I had a contact in ski movie, so I wrote a wrote a movie called Ski Potty. It was crap, you know, about a toilet on a ski. So hey, Fred, tell him about Ski Potty, or you know, he would just. That's what, the worst idea or, I ever heard. Uh, all right, don't the, a whole that. movie about a toilet <laughs> and a ski. All right, forget that one. But yes, it was. <laughs> I know nothing, but he. All right, let me tell you something. Wait, I want to get back to Ski Potty. So <laughs> is he is the Ski Potty at the top of the mount or the bottom of the mount? Okay, this is it. This guy I once was in a ski movie and i thought i had a contact in ski movies because the guy was a big fan yeah so you drive th this kind of retarded guy that would be me you know had bought a uh and what's those porta potties no yeah. and he would drive it around the ski resort because people are captive and they need to piss and crap uh -huh. on the ski resort sure. so so you just so i would just drive. all right that that deserved abuse that's really bad yes okay all right that's <laughs> bad that deserved abuse all right. But don't you know that the ski slope is slanted and the porta potty? Well, it would all be what, swishing over the well, sides of it. Well, that's where the joke's coming, that the, <laughs> the, the, the piss and shit going down the mountain. All right. That I deserve. But there was this guy that... Um, this, Let me guess. In one scene, is somebody going to the bathroom and it starts going down the mountain? It's got to happen, yeah, right? Yeah, of course. Act okay. two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It all happened. <laughs> I Only because I had a... I, th I don't know about skiing, so I made it... All right. All right. That's the worst example. I like that they can't wait to get to the bottom of the mountain. I mean, it's not like you're running where your legs are right. even moving. You're, you're actually in the position you'd be in if you had to hold a shit in. Skiing is exactly that position. I didn't think of that. <laughs> I, I, I didn't think of that. Um, but, and, uh, wait, how would they get into it if they have skis on? Or they take their skis off? At the top, you know, there's the cat. Or Yeah, I didn't. You're right. They have skis on. I don't, shows I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. But but this guy would drive it around. The guy was retarded, and yeah. he would drive it around, uh, ringing the bell. Now first, first in um his hometown, he drove it around like a good humor man. Uh -huh. And his brother was a champion skier, mm. so and would get all the trophies. Yeah. So he wanted to show his brother off, you know, 
who was Treat Williams at the time in my head, you know. Well, there's yeah, a score. Yeah, so, so then, so he goes to the mountain and, and he's embarrassing the brother. Okay, so. I mean, you had me at the porta potty. You bring Treat Williams in. This thing is sold. <laughs> All right, so basically. There was, All right, so Norm abused you. There was a guy, let's say, that I came to his place and he and Norm would like try to like get other guys to to abuse me like, Freddie's coming over. All right, so you go to so, this guy's house. No, I go to Norm's house, and he had a guy wait in the bathroom and to jump out and scare the shit out of me and laugh. <laughs> so, so basically, he would... Did climb. he wait till you were sitting on the toilet to do it? I think he just jumped out of the bathroom when okay. I was in the hallway. So he, there's other guys that would try to kiss up to Norm, and he would have them like... Yeah, so Cato Kalen... I once uh, met through this guy, and I said, I play tennis. I'd like to play with you. So he would, he would like, taunt me because Norm was taunting me. And one time, um, like I told Cato before I realized he was a piece of shit, that how I play tennis, and he told the secret to Norm when I was at the bathroom. Then he was refereeing me and Norm playing. So Norm hit it. He goes, out. And Norm goes, what do you mean? He goes, oh, you're right. It's in. Uh-huh. I said, you're a terrible witness with OJ. You're a terrible witness here. <laughs> And then I got a flat tire, and him and Norm are laughing at me as I drive away, mm-hmm. and I'm sitting there with my disabled car. Oh. So, wow, yeah. yeah oh, uh, am I saying things? That, no, to get shit on by Cato Kalen. That's I so know, painful. I know. And then I did a strip poker tournament with him, with Cato. And so the thing we're talking about Norm, I guess, right? Well, I guess we were, you were we were talking about the role of the guy and how you you okay, felt this- that you were an abused guy in Hollywood. You were a wingman. Just with that situation. Just with that. Okay. But you haven't been a wingman for anybody else. No, no, no. no.